When it comes to Bora Hansgrohe's Tour de France targets, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was a team geared entirely towards the pursuit of a historic seventh green jersey for Peter Sagan. But with the race reaching its crunch phase, attention is turning to a youthful group of German riders who have already confirmed the team's future is bright. Tour debutant Max Schachmann demonstrated his talent before a race-ending crash in Stage 14's time trial, whilst GC high flyer Emmanuel Buchmann has got some asking if he could be Germany's great Tour de France hope. I started my professional career, then the big step came in 2017 when we stepped up to the World Tour. Then we grow up year by year and everything became more professional and we also see it in the races and in the results and it's nice to see the development. It's my first uh, participation here in the Tour. It's a debut for me and you know to bring the, the national champion jersey to France to represent my, my colors, my country is a special feeling and uh, a special responsibility as well. For the figurehead of the team, this development represents an achievement of a major goal since he took Bora Hansgrohe to the World Tour in 2017. The critic voice after the Sagan sign was, yeah, it's a Sagan team. And my goal was to be not a Sagan team. For sure, Peter is super important for me and for the team. But in his uh, slipstream, we would like to develop a lot of young guys, especially uh, from the German language. That development of young riders has paid dividends this year. The performances of Buchmann and Schachmann at the Tour of the Basque Country and in the Ardennes caught the eye back in spring. Meanwhile, Pascal Ackermann's two-stage wins at the Giro d'Italia, along with the points classification jersey, confirmed him as one of the best sprinters in the world. That's the big advantage of our new generation. We have so many different type of riders, so not only these Big engine riders, we have uh, really good climbers, really good guy for the classics, a uh, couple classics, other classics, a uh, time trial, so there's pretty much of everything there. A main driver for this German development has been the team's backers. A sponsor since its days at pro continental level, main sponsors Bora's growth as a young company has been heavily linked to the team. Events such as the Bora Roubaix Challenge back in April, where 120 of the company's employees, alongside Bora CEO Willy Brookbauer and team principal Ralph Denk, rode the legendary pave of the Hell of the North. Just one example of how Bora is maximizing its support of the team. Ich bin schon sehr stolz darauf, dass über die Überhälfte meiner Mitarbeiter da spontan mitgefahren sind. Es muss ja keiner, aber es wird natürlich sehr gern gesehen, wenn man das ein bisschen spürt. Wenn man schaut, wo ist die Geschichte oder wo kommt Bora her? Wir sind eine kleine Company, wir sind ja fast noch eine Start-up-Company Start äh, mit unseren elf Jahren. Und da sind wir schon sehr weit gekommen. Und wenn ich auch das Team vergleiche, äh, wir sind jetzt äh, das vierte Hauptsponsor im Radsport. Und äh, wenn ich schaue, wir waren letztes Jahr dritter in der World Tour. Nur Sky und Quickstep war vor uns. Ein bisschen Luft ist nach oben, aber wir wollen schon noch weitergehen in das Ganze. Das soll noch nicht das Ende der Reise sein. Title sponsor Hansgrohe have also been keen to maximize its relationship to the cycling team it sponsors, as demonstrated when it brought 300 of its German employees to the Tour de France, riding 90 kilometers of stage five. It's not just putting your logo on a, on a rider and then, then hope that everything will, will happen. No, it's just a start. If you don't get your customers, if you don't get your staff involved, if you don't get your uh, stakeholders involved, uh, that's not the main purpose of cycling. The fact that we have a, a lot of nationalities in our team, it's not just Germans, it's not just Austrians, we have, uh, yeah, I think we have about 10 to 14 different nationalities and it's not just about the riders, it's also about the staff of the team and you always, when you go in that country and in that country, there's already always somebody uh, from that country involved in some way uh, in the team and it helps to, for our stakeholders to interact with the, with the team uh, a lot better. The internationality of the team and cycling in general has clearly been beneficial to the German-based sponsors. Both, though, are keen to keep encouraging the growth of cycling in their home markets by backing young talents coming through the ranks. Then it went all very quickly, but it was a big step for us and a big attention. Bora had no one known in Italy, Spain, France, not in the UK, not. Uh, very special in Belgium. 
Äh, und allein nicht, aber heute kennen wir uns jeder. Und das ist äh, ein guter Weg gewesen. Wir haben immer gesagt, das Thema deutsche Wurzeln, aber international, eine internationale Ausrichtung. Und da werden wir auch dabei bleiben. Cycling has its history uh, since very long years in, uh, in Germany. Uh, but when we started looking at the sponsorship, we clearly saw that there was uh, going to be, uh, let's say the market was going to go up. So people were more open to, to the sport. A lot of people, they know that Germany is a, is a big market and uh, it's one of the most practiced sports in, uh, in, uh, in Germany and that's, that's cycling. With the team sitting second in the UCI World Tour rankings and with some 34 race victories this season, all eyes are on its next goal of completing a German cycling revolution. From my perspective, is, uh, we need a, a German in a yellow jersey. That uh, would be a super input to bring cycling at another level and we hope for that. Eh? Last year Peter had won one day the yellow jersey and why not um, some, some days Buchmann or Schachmann or maybe Ackermann. Eh? Yeah, I think it would be really important for the German cycling to have one rider who is in the GC in the front. Because, okay, we win a lot of sprint stages last year, but I think it would be would be something different if a German rider is in the GC in the front. <laughs>